fact the house is too much house, you can sell, pay off your debt, downsize for a while, and get yourself back to right so that you can get back into a house. That's always an option. So you're saying downsize for a little while, but do you think with it, with kind of the market growth and natural inflation, oh, can la, buy back la, in? La, la. Can they, can they buy sure back in? Sure they can. You know, one of the things I tell people to do in order to see if they're ready for homeownership is to figure out what it would cost to carry their house. So let's say, for example, you're going to buy a house and with all your payments in, it's going to cost you $1,800 a month. And for argument's sake, you're paying $1,100 a month right now for your rent and all your other costs wherever you are. You take the difference of $700 out of your cash flow. Stop spending it because you're not going to be able to spend it when you're in the house. Okay, so you stop spending it and you start using that $700 a month to build up your down payment. And it teaches you two things. First of all, you build up a better down payment so that when you get into that house, you're not having to take mortgage insurance. But it also teaches you what you're going to have to live like once you move into that house. It's better that you know that ahead of time because at least then you can make the decision as to whether you in fact want to be a homeowner or not. Now, when making this decision, should we as a rule of thumb strive to own? For some reason, we seem to think that renting is throwing money away and home ownership is the great um, maker of wealth. You can build wealth without owning a home. You could be using that to build up an RSP, contribute to a tax-free savings account, um, establish a non-registered investment plan. The other thing is, is that if you are in a house, you've squeezed yourself in, and ultimately what you're then having to do is use your line of credit or your credit cards to make up the difference in your cash flow, so you're building debt. And then you're going to do an equity takeout so that you can pay off all that consumer debt. You're actually not building up any assets. So stop playing the game and fooling yourself and lay some decent plans before you get into homeownership. What do you splurge on? What are your guilty pleasures? My guilty pleasures are tea. I love, I must have Very 30, economical. 30 different kinds of tea in my cup, but not so economical when you have that many of them. Uh, but that's one of my pleasures. Um, audiobooks, I buy my books at Audible. And I probably have 10 or 12 books on my iPod at any given time. Um, I work hard. So I have a really great computer. And because I don't stay up late, I'm an early to bed, early to rise girl, I tend to miss a lot of television. So I buy my TV on DVDs and then watch them in long episodes. Gail, thank you so much. My pleasure.